Hello, hope you are well. My name is Frank and welcome back to my channel. It is a pleasure to have you here with me today and I'm going to show you what I'm currently eating. I've only had time these past two weeks to have one meal a day and uh, something that both of us never thought would happen. I've been eating vegetables, so let me show you guys the meal, go over each food, the nutrition, and simply why I'm eating it. So I would say about an hour of prep per day goes into my entire meal. Thankfully, I have the help of the Instant Pot. You know, I can throw most of the stuff in there. Uh, the protein for this meal is what you guys saw in my fridge last week. This is the Petite Tender Steak from Frankie's Free Range Meat. It's very, very lean. It's nicely portioned and after its name, it is tender, very easy to eat. You know, these are good portions for one or two meals because you know some of them are like this size which I'll eat you know the whole day that's two meals and some of them are a little smaller so I'll have that in one meal uh, we have these packaged like this right now uh, which is like 2.75 three pound packages uh, we can do them smaller but obviously you know with the labor and that type of stuff I have to increase the price artichokes and cauliflower dun 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 uh, but I guess before we talk about that we could just briefly go over the rice. You guys have seen this. It's the short grain brown rice. It's from some farm. It's an organic sprouted brown rice. And you guys have seen this in my pantry video as well. I just put two cups of rice, four cups of Garrel Steiner bottled mineral water, uh, some salt and a tablespoon of coconut oil. Uh, the reason I use coconut oil over something like beef tallow or pork lard is mainly because, you know, the coconut oil is antimicrobial. And I do get refined. Uh, if you guys saw my video on coconut, you'll know that refined is not that healthy. But I really can't stand the taste of the regular stuff. And this is pretty easy on my stomach. Uh, just some regular sea salt right now. Uh, but I will have the land salt available on Frankie's Serenage Meat relatively soon, hopefully next week. Uh, this is the mineral water. And this is what I actually forgot to show you guys in that pantry video. So I've been switching between Garrelsteiner and Mountain Valley Spring right now. Who knows, maybe on Frankie's farm in the future we'll sell water. I do have a, a sourdough culture going because some clown in the comments is like, day seven, you're asking Frank to make a sourdough pizza recipe, as if I'm going to do it, but I guess I am. The water kefir here. Uh, so I think I'll go more in depth on this uh, next week or the week after because you guys are buying too many of my kefir grains. Uh, but loosely I have one fermentation here. This is the initial key for fermentation. And this is the second fermentation with the flavorings. Uh, let me know if you guys would be interested in like a one off key for sale where I made it like this for you guys and shipped it out on a specific day of the week. I think I can manage that, but I certainly couldn't manage doing it every single day. So the main reason for consuming artichokes and cauliflower is really fiber, gut motility. You know, I've had a lot less gas, almost like when I was carnivore, you know, I'm not really farting at all now. And when you have a good balance of, you know, protein, starch, fiber, cookies in your diet, if everything's cooked properly, if nothing's overcooked, you should have near perfect bowel movements and really gut motility throughout the entire day. Uh, these were cooked in a steel pan like this, uh, just steamed with some water and salt, Garrel Steiner water again. Avocado, same thing, except I put the water and salt in the pressure cooker and I throw a lemon in there uh, just for uh, some added flavor and it, it keeps it a little prettier. Uh, but I usually just pull the heart out of this and I eat it. Sometimes I'll have the leaves if I feel like doing it. The mineral content, you know, vitamin content isn't too significant. You could argue, hey, there's a small amount of B vitamins. There is some manganese, some copper, which is good for contrasting the meat. But overall, it's the fiber. It's feeding the gut microbiome and it's very good for gut motility. You know, a lot of people are afraid of carbohydrates, plant foods with the carnivore stuff. But, you know, as I've developed more of an understanding of, you know, the gut microbiome, the bacteria in your stomach, like the bacteria in this kefir is nom, 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 nom. It's eating the sugar. You know, I put sugar, I put molasses in here, but the bacteria is nom, nom, nom. It's eating the sugar. So it turns the sugar into B vitamins, into bacteria. So although this is sugar water, the kefir grains turn it into bacteria, just like our microbiome turns the cauliflower or the artichoke or the brown rice, nya, 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 nya. it eats it and turns it into bacteria for the most part. And 
that's what the enzymes in our body don't break down and absorb. But even the bacteria produce specific enzymes to break down starches. Uh, of course, we have my girlfriend Hitomi's vegan cookie recipe. And I've been making larger batches just so I don't have to do it as often. Uh, instead of using the chocolate chips, someone recommended uh, carob chips, uh, which I actually enjoy the flavor of. They just don't have the caffeine and I'm not breaking out as much from them. And I really cannot maintain my weight without eating these cookies. You know, I just lose weight, don't have energy, not good. So I usually have to prep all this stuff once a day. Uh, today I did it earlier. So I, you know, I put the rice in the pressure cooker, cauliflower in the pot, artichoke in the pressure cooker. And now what I'm gonna do is just throw it in the oven, warm it up a little bit and have everything hot. Now everything is organic, but you know, by no means is that the end all be all beacon of health. It's just with modern food access, when you go organic, you do reduce most of those agrochemical pollutant concerns. I mean, especially compared to the conventional food, which is practically poison. Now, the artichokes were very hard to find organic. Uh, I had to go through a local restaurant supplier uh, and most of them aren't doing so well. So if there's ever a product that you can't get at your supermarket, I would just Google restaurant suppliers in your area and reach out to them because they are kind of struggling right now and they would be willing to do those smaller orders, at least I would assume on a weekly basis. And by smaller, I mean like $150, $200 worth of stuff. Uh, the cauliflower was actually at Whole Foods. The brown rice was through the restaurant supplier. And of course the meat is through Frankie's Hearing Age Meat. Uh, the ingredients for the cookies I typically get from Whole Foods. But while that rice and cauliflower is warming up in the oven, I'll show you guys downstairs the rice as well as the artichokes. So this is how the artichokes come from Ocean Mist. USDA organic. I think I paid like 30 or 35 bucks and they gave me like 12 artichokes, which is actually really good. You know, I can't eat more than one of these a day. So it lasts a while, two weeks. You guys have seen this rice before, Lundberg Family Farms. Organic sprouted short grain brown rice. Now I'll show you guys some nuances of the prep here. So since my parents use commercial dish soap on everything. I have to like wipe it off with filtered water every single plate, every single utensil, every single glass. And I mean, I can't wait until I can afford to, you know, get a place, you know, a little further outside of the city where the water is actually clean. But for now, this is what I've been doing. So this is to put the meat away. You know, I'll put the meat on one plate and then I'll cover it with another plate. And this is what I've been doing lately basically for anything. For the enzymes that I take with most meals, I use a couple different ones. So I like just putting them on a paper towel and then I'll take them. If you guys could please badger me in the comments because I've been delaying making a digestive enzyme supplement for you guys for like six months now. I have everything ready, I just haven't gotten to it. So for the kefir, I had one jar fermenting that I strained out earlier. And the second jar, I'm gonna strain now for this meal and then after that, I'll refill both of them. I'll add a little bit more sugar. As with the plate issue, I have to also rinse everything off once. So what I like to do, I pour a little bit of water kefir through the strainer into the glass. I kind of swish that around a little bit, pour it out into the sink, and then I'll pour the actual glass that I'm gonna drink. And I know some of you guys are gonna say, oh, stainless steel kills and damages the kefir bacteria. I usually don't use this strainer, uh, the other one's just in the dishwasher, and just a, br a brief contact isn't that big of a deal. Uh, you, but you can't use like a steel vessel for the fermentation process, or you don't want to use a steel vessel to just continuously drink out of. So that's really everything, so we could sit down and eat. Yeah, I mean this petite tender, it's definitely an underrated cut of meat. It is nice to just have something that you don't have to worry about how you cook it because it's going to turn out tender every time. So I kind of like go around the plate, take a little bite of everything. The artichokes, if I have time, I'll actually do the leaves. And if you guys haven't had artichokes before, there's like the flesh on the inside of the leaf. You have to scrape it off with your teeth. So it's very laborious to eat the leaves. It'll probably take you 10, 15 minutes to eat one artichoke. And what they usually do is you dip the leaves in like olive oil or butter with salt in it. And it's delicious. In the center, after you peel all the leaves away, or you could just like cut
cut into it through the stem, how the top portion of the stem being edible, it's the heart of the artichoke, which most people are familiar with, which is actually pretty big and a decent chunk of calories in these. I would say there's probably as much meat in the heart, if not more, than on all the leaves throughout the artichoke. The kefir is a little bit alcoholic because I fermented it when it was closed and it sat a little too long, but you could always prevent that. It does taste better though. So when I'm about halfway through what I think I'm gonna eat, I go take the enzymes. I'll put the enzymes in a handful like this. And the combination of the enzymes and the probiotics is basically all you need to perfectly digest the food. The enzymes will break down the larger components like the proteins into amino acids, the lactobacillus will prevent any bad bacteria, not bad, but any potential overgrowth of things like candida. And the bacteria itself will also help digest some of the starch, the carbohydrates, the sugar. You know, on one hand, I wish I could just be like a normal person and enjoy my life and eat whatever I want and like go out and stuff. On the other hand, you know, since I did have the liver damage, I've been able to help probably tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of people with their own health. So, so I'm not super hungry right now. And what sounds very appealing to me is not having to cook tomorrow. So this meal or the rest of this meal should be enough for tomorrow. So I'm going to save this, just leave it on the counter. In the summer, I will put it in the fridge. I don't have the rest of this artichoke tomorrow too, but we still have some cookies to eat. So I still like regular chocolate more than carob chips, but these are definitely better than the white chocolate and they have a very unique scent. You know, I would say it's, it's comparable to chocolate that it adds like more complexity and a certain scent. I wouldn't really call carob a similar flavor to chocolate. I mean, they're both brown chips, but so are carob chips to chocolate chips as like chicory is to coffee. I haven't looked into either of them that much. All I know is I was breaking out over the weekend from eating some chocolate and now my skin has cleared up. If you guys missed my Hitomi vegan cookie joke earlier, I made a recipe video uh, making vegan cookies. If you guys want to know what's in these, it's just organic flour, coconut oil, coconut milk, sugar, vanilla, carob chips. Sometimes I'll put the nature's glucose in it, a little bit of salt. Man, I just got a great idea for Frankie's vegan cookies, like what I should name them to, to get rid of my name on the cookies. But if I share it, someone's definitely gonna steal it. If you're a vegan, leave in the comments below, because I know you guys watch my videos. Would you buy vegan cookies from Frank? Because I don't know if I have another outlet to sell them right now. I mean, I think I've supported the vegan community more than most vegans. That freaky deaky, uh, what's it called? Astrology girl went from like 30,000 to 150,000 subs in like a month after I did the video on her. For some reason, my girlfriend Victoria never blew up though. She just doesn't make enough videos. Too busy in Russian La La Land. Hello, hope you are well and welcome to my channel. My name is Victoria. It's a pleasure to have you here with me today. I wanted to share with you a full day of eating vegan, delicious, nutritious, plant-based meals. Uh, so that's going to be it for today. Uh, the alcohol in this kefir is definitely <laughs> knocking me out a little bit, regardless of how little it is. So I have to uh, definitely make a new batch of that so it's not alcoholic. Yeah, I literally feel drunk. Uh, but thank you guys for joining me today. You can go to frank to see... Frankie's free range meat for the petite tender steak, Frankie's free range foods for the water kefir, Frankie's free range foods for the best bar so you don't have to spend three hours cooking your meals every day. Please drop a like on the video, leave Frankie Boy a comment down below. Don't bother subscribing because YouTube will unsubscribe you anyway and you might as well not click that notification bell because they're not going to notify you of my video. So I'll see you guys for tomorrow.